This is 90-90 breathing, kind of setting up in almost like a bridge position against the wall. So rolling from your side to, to back to begin, placing feet up on the wall in a 90 degree setup. So you can see the 90 degree bend of the hips and the knees. Maintaining what we call a tripod foot. So all kind of three corners of the feet are connected, like big toe and the sides of the heel. So feeling really grounded on the wall in this 90-90 position. The first thing I'll coach is to take a nice inhale and exhale. And as we exhale, almost feeling like these lower bottom ribs kind of melting into the ground. So instead of being in this kind of flared up position, we exhale. Then closing the front door on the rib cage. So these ribs come down and we're not crunching down with our chest. Hopefully the floor is giving you a little bit of feedback. So we inhale and then exhale these lower ribs down. So the ribs are kind of pulling away from my hands and closing on the front door. The next thing I want you to think about doing is finding that tripod foot and kind of sensing the heels almost dragging down the wall so you can feel the hamstrings light up on the backside. Knees may want to come out, so keep them about hip width distance apart. So we have our tripod foot, we're exhaling the ribs back, and I'm gonna slightly posteriorly tuck, so you can think about kind of tucking under your pelvis like a bowl, like bringing your belt buckle towards your belly button, but using the drag on the wall and those hamstrings to kind of facilitate that. So instead of just bridging up through here, I'm gonna really drag down the wall with my feet and with my heels. My feet are super glued, I'm kind of envisioning that uh, visual and heels dragging down the wall and my pelvis is gonna slightly elevate. Notice it's just slightly and my low back stays connected. So my hamstrings are turned on. If you are someone that tends to clench the booty or kind of in more of a tuck under sway back position, which I will tell you, then maybe keeping your feet or your booty grounded is a better option. But for, for now, continue on with me, thinking about dragging the heels down the wall and the pelvis slightly elevating up off the ground. So pelvis is elevated, low back connected, hamstrings are helping to facilitate that lift up off the ground. Hands on the rib cage for feet back, thinking about a nice inhale. And then exhale, long exhalation, ribs stay back. On our next inhale, we are going to try and keep some of the abdominal tension we generated with that nice long ha exhalation. So let's take one more inhale and exhale and sense that tension. Now trying to maintain some of that tension as we inhale again. The goal of this is to send all of that pressure into the chest, into the back, so we can facilitate some of this expansion in some of these really tight areas. And so the pressure doesn't just go out on the belly, but we're able to inhale and feel that pressure go into the pelvic floor, into the chest, into the back, into our sides. So thinking about keeping the pelvis elevated, my hamstrings are still on, inhale, and then exhale. Maintain some of that tension, inhale again. Those inhales might feel a little hard because we're breathing into very compressed areas. The other thing wanting to note is to watch that you don't tuck your chin. So maintain your chin and your gaze up so you have that airway open. Inhale. Stay here for about five to 10 breaths. You can repeat for about two to three sets. The goal is we're really focusing on controlling pelvis position in the sagittal plane, front to back. So we're getting hamstrings, abs, really connecting with the breath and bringing some expansion to areas that are really tight and compressed like our chest, our sides, and our back. Please let me know if you have any questions.